So I know I'm supposed to be all happy and cheery for YouTube videos to get likes and views and stuff, but uh, not so much today, because today I'm cleaning up a gallon of paint that spilled in my F-250. So let me show you what we're working with here. This was a brand new gallon of paint. It had never been opened, and you can see here the seal has cracked. It was laying on its side. I had this stuff in the truck to return it the next day. And yeah, it spilled out. Um, I don't know if it was heat or what happened to the cam, but somehow that seal got broken even though I had never opened it. And I think most of this is dry. This is dry. Everything that I've read online about trying to clean this up is that you should definitely do it when it's wet and not let it dry. But I found this out at 5.30 in the morning when I was headed to the airport to catch a flight and I didn't have time to clean it up. So it sat in the car for a few days while I was out of town. Uh, some of it's still wet because you can see here I just opened the door and it's dripping somewhere. Oh, oh yeah. Yep, all on the door here. Underneath. On the paint. <sighs> Probably gonna have to remove this plastic piece because I'm sure it's soaked up underneath there. Yeah. So I'm gonna try using a few products that I just happen to have on hand. I don't have a steam cleaner. I think that would be nice to have here, but I don't have one. So let's just get into it. Uh, I don't know what's gonna work, but hopefully I'll save some other people some time if you ever get into this situation. Okay, I've probably got two or three hours into cleaning this up and I've partially cleaned up a section that's about two inches by two inches. So um, not really making any progress. So far I've tried isopropyl alcohol, I've tried oil eaters, Folex, which is a great carpet cleaner, uh, Griot's interior cleaner, vinegar, um, miscellaneous things that I had around the house. None of it's working. All right, so we're back. And the latest idea, instead of buying a steamer, is to try our wife's iron. Because this bad boy does crank out some steam. I don't know if it'll work, but if I want to get this done tonight and I need steam, this is what I came up with as a solution for steam. So uh, it's got this little squirter thing too, although that doesn't kick out hot water. So we're going to use this steamer and just see if we can, we're going to try it on like a spot where it's pretty easy. And I'll bring this in just in case this works so that you guys can see it actually worked. Although I wouldn't get your hopes up, but you know. Trying to save you all time, as I'm now a few hours into figuring out how the heck I might be able to get this up. So let's try like some of this easy stuff right here. You would think that would be pretty easy. That is hardened on. I think getting this on the carpet would be a bad idea because I think it's gonna melt the carpet. But maybe I can hover it. All I'm saying is, if it works, more people are likely to have an iron with a steaming feature than have a professional steamer. <laughs> ah, this is what YouTube is for. Okay, it's, it's actually working, which makes me very, oh, 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 look at that little spot, came clean. See that spot right there? That looks good. Might be on to something here. This steam in 10 seconds has gotten me way further than I was getting earlier. So this would fully reaffirm my decision to buy a steamer if this works. I just have this on the heavy steam section. I'm trying not to touch the carpet, but I'm trying to get the steam on and get it. Oh yeah, look at that. Steam for the win. Okay, this is still gonna be a good job, a big job, but we finally have found something that will work as a solution, I think. So let's, let's get bold here. So this is where the floor mat was laying, and so it pooled up there, and it's really thick there. A lot of steam. And while we're steaming that, let's just go ahead and we'll just hit it with some Polex for fun. This is the best carpet cleaner I've used. It didn't do anything on dried paint earlier, but 
We have now decided that getting this wet and keeping it wet is going to be key. So we're going to put some Folex on it. And then we're going to hit it some steam. Softening, yes. Removing, questionable. So if you have light paint, like let's say you step in paint and you get it on your shoes and then you put your shoes in this stuff, it's going to come up pretty easily just with an iron as your steamer. But where it's pooled like this and gotten really thick, I'm not sure this is going to get it done. Okay, so you can definitely see that here it's getting better and here it's getting better. So this affirms the decision that steam is gonna be the way to go. The iron obviously is not gonna get it done in any sort of timely fashion. So I went out and bought this um, Karcher steamer here. It was about 200 bucks from Costco. It puts out decent steam, but it's not, it's just not getting the job done. Um, I mean, if that's on like a slow setting and it has a higher setting and I mean it, it puts out decent steam and it softens the paint some but it's taking forever and it's not it's just not working so I don't know if it's not a high enough power unit or the steam isn't hot enough or what but that's not working so far everything that I've tried on the internet's not working so I went to Home Depot and I bought these products which are specific for paint so this one on the back of it says crud cutter says it's for latex paint, the Gugon latex paint cleanup. Um, obviously that's for paint and then the goof off product. I'm gonna do this live and see if any of these have done anything. All right, I mean, initial impression on crud cutter is, yeah, it's helping, but I mean, you can see it's coming up, but apply that process to an entire gallon of paint. It is coming up, but it's a slow, painful process, right? So I'm not sure that that's much better. Oh, I've also tried just straight Goo Gone. I, I'm not sure that's much better than any other, other solutions that I've tried. Uh, okay, this is Goo Gone Latex Paint Cleanup. So, say a prayer. Okay, that's... Now this one, this is textured, and this one's a smooth plastic, so this one cleans up the easiest out of all of them. And again, yeah, you can see it's helping there. I hope you can see that. See how that's cleaned up compared to this. So that's definitely helping, but is that really going to do much for me in a carpet? I don't know. So far, I'm not. My hopes are low. Um, okay, this one is goof off latex or paint remover for carpet. Let's just try this spot right here. Yeah, no. Nope, nope, nope. So, so don't spill paint in your car. Um, at this point, I'm tempted to post the video and just like desperately ask the YouTube community if they have any ideas for me. All right, so I've been working on this for probably four or five hours over the last few weeks, trying different products. 
and uh, I think I'm at the point where I'm ready to give some advice. So I've gone through a lot of frustrations and I'm going to walk you through the process that I've finally settled on that is getting me somewhere. As you can see down here, uh, this is starting to come up. Uh, there's still a lot of paint that I need to get up down in here in the carpet fibers, but we've made a whole lot of progress. You can see I've also made a whole lot of a mess splattering all over and uh, I've been trying to hold a towel over my steamer but um, I had to upgrade my steamer. So I originally was trying that Karcher SC3, which was a $200 unit. And I'm just gonna say, if you get into a job like this, a $200 and below unit is not gonna get the job done. So this is the Chief Steamer 75. It's actually an 85 PSI uh, steamer. It's got steam 300 plus degrees, <clears throat> working really, really well. This is what I would call a prosumer product. It's a uh, a commercial grade product that consumers can still buy so you'll see this used at detailing shops and then you'll see people like me that get themselves into a ridiculous project and they need something that will actually get the job done the Karcher SC3 when you pulled the trigger a bunch of water came out like a hose I don't even know how you would use it on the interior of a car because it streamed out so much water and the steam pressure was supposed to be 45 psi but it wasn't um, and the steam wasn't very hot and just wasn't a good product. So we went back to the store <clears throat> Don't waste your time on something cheap now when you go up to the 85 psi and you actually start making progress getting paint out You can see I'm making a big mess and I've wrapped the tip of it in um, I've wrapped the tip of the steamer in a rag like this, you know as I'm going along I've got it wrapped in a rag, but it's just a whole heck of a lot of paint um, so you're going to want a really good commercial steamer and you're going to want this metal wire attachment. Don't bother with something nylon or boar's head or anything like that. You need something very stiff to get down and break this paint up through agitation. And as far as these three products, Goo Gone Goof Off, don't, don't waste your time. Neither of these did anything. Um, they're the same as Folex or any other household product. But this guy right here, Crud Cutter, plus the steam and a whole lot of patience actually gets something done. So if you just watch, um, if I spray some Goo Gone on, now you'd think this is good because it goes on kind of thick, but it just doesn't do anything. And then you can see if you spray the Crud Cutter on, see how it's actually coming, it's liquefying that paint right there. You can see it's going white and smearing on the Crud Cutter. Whereas the um, Goo Gone does nothing. And this has been sitting, I mean, I've been through multiple iterations of letting products sit overnight, uh, agitation with this stiff uh, nail brush, etc. So I am creating a mess. I'm hopeful that all of this is going to wipe up fairly easy now that I've got a product that I know that works decently. Um, but this is the process I'm going through, which is kind of spraying one area down, okay? letting that sit for 10 or 15 minutes. In the meantime, spraying another area down, working the other area while that section is sitting, working this area with steam. I've also got a little green machine here that I'm using to apply hot water to extract as I'm going. And then just over and over and over and over again, that process. It is working. Um, everything else that I had tried before as far as using rags and other carpet removers and even these Goo Gons, et cetera. And even this absent, a really good hot steamer it's just you're not going to be able to get it out so um, I would say if you get yourself into this situation your options are number one run and keep the paint wet because the only way you're getting this paint out is to get it wet again so that's running so that you can extract it there's no way to get the paint out while it's still a solid because it's all intertwined with the fiber so run and get saran wrap and cover up this spill until you figure out okay do I have an extractor on hand? Do I have the right materials on hand? Then go in and get after it while it's still wet. It'll save you all of the trouble that I'm going through to liquefy the paint again so I can get it to the point where I can extract it. So that would be my number one advice is do it while it's still wet. Now, I didn't have that option and maybe you don't either and that's why you're watching this video. So I'm just gonna show you here kind of what I'm doing. Um, I've sprayed this section down with the crud cutter. You can see there, how it starts to liquefy the paint. You can see how it's going white there. This is by far the best stuff, okay? See that? Really good. Um, and then I've got the stiff wire brush and I've got the Chief Steamer on maximum steam, okay? And it's 
and you need this stiff wire brush especially for the sections like that where it's thick and it's caked on because you got to break up that top layer and get down into the fibers before you're going to get any progress okay so something like that then i'm going to turn on the extractor I think that the extractor is probably the only thing that's optional on this. If you have a shop vac and some hot water, I think that's going to do the job just as well as this um, little green machine that I happen to have. But um, this did help. So this section got better. So then we repeat. And we'll try to move the spot up a little bit further. So you see that crud cutter there breaking down the paint. Even as I spray, then... I would normally let that sit for a few minutes, work another section, and then come back. But for the purposes of the video, I'll just go ahead and jump in and I'll re-steam this section. So you can see all the paint there that's now been broken up and, and broken down. So I'm turning it back into a liquid. Now I'm gonna go ahead and extract again. So you can see here, um, definitely made some progress, but still a lot of paint down in those fibers. To get this spot clean, I will go through that process that I just did probably 10 to 15 times. Um, and I've got to do that all over the entire car. So all over back here. Then I'm going to have to come back and wipe all this down. You can see paint now has gotten all out on the running boards. It's, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a two steps forward, one step back process, but at least I've got a system now to where I'm making some progress. Haven't even started to tackle this. Back here you can see, I mean, I tried, this looks almost the same as when I started. This is where I tried a bunch of different chemicals and just using rags and none of that worked. So I'll get back there in the steamer. I, you know, I would say replacing the carpet if it's, a, if it's a car that you really care about, something collectible or something nice and it's solidified, you may want to just go in and get a quote on replacing the carpet. For me, I, I always view these types of things as an opportunity to buy a new product. So that's why I bought this Chief Steamer, which I'm really, really happy about. Kevin, I think is the guy's name that runs this company. And he was awesome. I emailed him. I said, hey, I bought this other steamer, spilled a gallon of paint. It's hardened. The other steamer didn't touch it what do you think and he he wrote me back and he said if the other steamer didn't work i don't think mine will either and so i bought one because i love the honesty um and actually it's working really really well relatively um for a job like this it's working a lot better than i thought it would and i'm happy with the progress i've made because you can see right there i mean that this right here was pulled up probably an eighth of an inch thick paint over the surface and now i'm starting to get it out so i'm going to keep going and I'll update you at the end with final thoughts and the finished product. Okay, finished product. So in the back, I was able to get this, I think pretty close to perfect. Um, back here, the paint had just come back and piled up and it was very much on the top of the carpet. It hadn't sat on the carpet embedded down in. So you can see I, that all came up. I was able to get all these panels cleaned up and I got these larger mats that come out, this larger rubber mat. It comes and covers the whole thing now in the front you can see here i still have some paint um, but it's much 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 better and the reason i decided to stop is there you can see i have been working this so much that the carpet piles were actually starting to wear off and then you see how this is kind of stained light i don't think that's paint i think that's where the dye is actually starting to come up out of the carpet from all of the materials and the steaming so you know, overall, I got this really, really good and I'm happy with it. Uh, it's a huge step in the right direction. I think I got it good enough that somebody jumping in the car would not notice, especially with these larger mats, obviously, that cover that up. But here on the side, you can see the piles are coming out and I just decided to stop. Um, so this is just, I'm going to have to live with this. Wasn't able to get that stuff on the side up. And that shows you just how deep the paint was. I mean, that's an inch. Uh, the gallon of paint was sitting all the way up there, soaked down into the fibers, got embedded on the mat itself, and it's just not going to come up. If you're a professional detailer quoting this job, I would say at least two days. I would also have your client sign off 
that you under that they understand that uh, there may be some damage to the carpet that you're not going to be able to get it all out because as you can see here I wasn't um, other tips I learned you know you saw there was a lot of spray from the pressure of the steam actually all that came up really easily that wasn't a big deal once I got that down but using a towel to cover it when you can would be helpful and um, overall you know I think if you were jumping into my truck you probably would not notice that if you did you wouldn't think too much of it and that was ultimately the goal was to get it um, you know cleaned up a lot so lesson learned no paint in your car first lesson second lesson god forbid it happens keep it wet because you're gonna have to get it wet again and as you can see you're probably not gonna be able to get it all up hope this helps somebody and I sure hope that um, you're watching this video for pleasure as you're trying to go to sleep and not because you spilled paint in your car like I did